Hi, I'm Adam from Gift Music, and today I've got the maestro, the incredibly talented Mike Patrick here with me, and we're looking at the brand new Archive Professional MPC Key 61 production synthesizer. Mm -hmm. Firstly, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, very good, very good. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Um, no, pleasure to have you. So, a professional session musician, you go from live to the studio all the time, and something like this mm. seems to be the next step for you. How, is, how would you integrate a product like this into your, into your life, basically? Um, to be honest, you'd probably throw everything else out. <laughs> 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 no, you know what? It's, it's honestly, it just covers so many different bases that, and I mean, the main thing I have to say is the creativity it is really inspiring. And obviously being a musician, you always want to play something that kind of inspires you to write or create new music and kind of learn new new things. And for me, the main thing I noticed about it, it was that it really just inspires you to play. And yeah. it's not even about the technical side of trying to work things out. It's like 90% fun and playing and being creative, which yeah. I love. So yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And I mean, you know, given as a session musician, you approach a lot of different genres mm. and stuff like that. So this is something that can cover all of those. Yeah, it really is. To be honest with you, I'll be completely transparent. Um, Andy, he's been awesome in terms of just bringing me into this project. And he mentioned it and I kind of said no. For <laughs> certain, I said, I kind, he kind of said, look, I, this is something big mm. and I think you'd really enjoy being a part of it. And for some reason I was like, no, 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 I don't yeah. think. And he really said, look, mate, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take a look and just see what you think. And I'm, I kid you not, when I played it and when I, you know, got to sit down with it and spend some time, I was absolutely blown away. Even now, like I played it last night and I just, I get so excited playing it and it's got, so, it's got great sounds. It genuinely yeah. has. And I think the musicians, they'll agree that good sounds are really important in terms of when it comes to playing live and recording. If the sounds aren't great, it's not very inspiring. Yeah. So yeah, the fact this has amazing sounds is awesome for me. It's awesome. Amazing. So as you can see on the screen here, mm -hmm. we've got some of your favorites loaded up. Yep. So why don't you take us through some of your favorite sounds in there? How long you got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going to play. I'll play a few. I'll let you pick one in a minute. Actually, of course. So. Yeah. Cool. Wow. When you drop that octave, then you yes. could. There's, there's sometimes when people are approaching this kind of thing, the sound can lack in the low, especially. Yeah. But then when you drop the octave, you feel You that. feel it. You know what this keyboard does well is articulation. So, like, I've got a road sound here, and it. But the cool thing is, is that you can hear, like, the mechanics of the road. So, I've got a patch that is dedicated just to uh, the mechanics. So, I can literally. So, you can. <laughs> So when you're playing, you can literally just hear. But then it, when you link it together, it sits really well. Yeah. So. And it's like the low, the low end, you can really. And obviously the keys play a big part because of the action. So yeah, even though I'm playing like a rose, it feels like I'm playing semi-weighted keys. Mm. Well, they are semi-weighted keys, but it really kind of connects with the sound. Yeah, of course. And, and as you said, you know, this the key bed is such a big vital part of this, you know, yeah. especially as a player like yourself. So what is it that kind of, you know, separates this from something else that you might play? Um, for me, I mean, there's many things, but for me, mainly it's the sounds and how they've kind of put the sounds in different subcategories. So with, a, I mean, a lot of plugins and keyboards, musicians have to go through like a ton of sounds to find the one they want. But I really love that on here, it's on, like if I go to Fabric Excel, it then asks me what, what sounds do you want? So I, I want a piano, for example. It's like, do I want an upright piano or do I want a grand? Do I, 
if I want a synth sound, I can kind of choose whether it's going to be a classic synth or a hard synth or a soft synth. So just being able to pick sounds that are really good, but also kind of choose what category, yeah. it really makes things a lot easier. Yeah. And as, as you know, with Fabric Excel, with itself has over a thousand presets. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it's such an expansive soundscape that you have access to. Yeah. And so it, I think a really good area to look at would actually be the organ because we didn't really oh, see much of that with Andy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can, I mean, I've got organ sounds saved already, but I'm going to do it the traditional way. All right. <laughs> so I've got, I've loaded up my organ now. I've got Great. my jaw bar set in so I can, I mean, yeah, I can literally just touch and it's so interactive, which makes it a lot more fun. So yeah. I can, so if I've got, you know, I can still hear percussions on there, so I can take percussion off. And as I'm playing, I can kind of, you know, modulation affects the Leslie effect. And then, you know, I can still pull out the drawer. <laughs> You know, so, I mean, the best part is that I can still kind of control what's going on. Like, I can turn on effect. And then again, because it's semi-weighted keyed, it feels like I'm playing an organ, yeah. dare I say. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, I can, yeah. I, the thing is, the great thing is, is that there's so much control over what I'm doing. And it just feels like, even though I'm playing, I'm also interacting and tweaking. And when you play a real organ, real organists will actually do that anyway. So the good thing about um, this keyboard is that, like a real organist, while I'm playing, I can have an effect on what I'm doing. And then if, you know, the music gets a bit more, you know, up in tempo, I can pull out my jaw bars. Yeah. So as you know, if I'm playing live, as situations change, I can change the sound as well. Yeah, of course. And as you say, when you're playing live with such an easy to use practical interface, yeah, that's just, you know, invaluable. Yeah, it honestly is. I, yeah. I, it really, it really is. And it's not just for the organ, you know, mm. it's for the roads, it's for the, I mean, string sounds. Anyone who knows me, I love. Yeah. <laughs> I love strings. Yeah. And so even the interface is so inviting, but I can, you know, load different string sounds here. So one of my favorites is um, staccato. And I can kind of choose how big the size of the orchestra is. So right now it's on orchestral. Mm -hmm. I can make it solo. Uh, I can go to uh, pizzicato if I want to. I mean solo, but I prefer orchestra. So I'll make it orchestral <laughs> for pizzicato. I feel like I need to stand up and applaud. That's, <laughs> that sounded incredible. Yeah, it sound. you know, in the, like another thing, the effects of these sounds, you can tell people to put time into it. So when I'm playing, for example, like the lead sounds, you can kind of hear, I'll see if I can find a lead, simple sign. So like you can, you can hear the delay behind the, mm -hmm. the simps. So it's like every sound, they've taken time to really work on the effects. So you can hear the delay behind it. To yeah. put delay behind a synth sound, you have to really kind of, the timing of it has to be right, not to get too technical. But yeah, of course. Yeah, just genuinely saying, you can tell they've taken a lot of time to craft these sounds. And honestly, they are great. Yeah. And, you know, as, as mentioned with a session musician like yourself, having yeah. such a vast array of sounds just out the box must yeah. be, you know, is, is crucial. But as mentioned, you've got your favourites. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I reckon because... Uh -huh. 
You're such an incredible player. You're spoiling me now. <laughs> <laughs> Deserve to be. I'd love to go through some of your favorite sounds on here. Of course, of course. So favorite sounds for me consist of like every type of sound, at least yeah. one. So uh, I've got a pad here. This is one of my favorite pads at the moment. have sub basses as well. <laughs> you can feel that. You're right there. Yeah, you can feel that. Blimey. Yeah, like I love this normally for R&B. Yeah. It's like wicked. Yeah. 808 bass. Yeah. Uh, favorite piano right now. This is like Andy put me onto this one because he yeah. had it, so I stole it. Um, <laughs> this uh, AM is called the AM. So for anyone that wants to get the keyboard, just remember this sound because this is up there right now. Um, it's like a lo fi piano. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Please don't. <laughs> that sounds phenomenal. Yeah. What else have I got? I've got... Um... Have you got some like cool road sounds that you really like? Yeah. My favourite road... See, with this, I go through phases because one minute I like the suitcase, but at the moment I really love the whirly, the whirlitzer effect mm. on this because like anyone that plays keyboards will understand how hard it is to find a very good whirly sound. Yeah. And I'm going to get myself in trouble, but this is the best whirly sound I've heard on the keyboard. <laughs> I'm going to have to deal with the repercussions after. This. Honestly, <laughs> it, it's really good. It just sounds so, so realistic. Yeah. sounding phenomenal yeah it's awesome it, yeah. it awesome it honestly it's not like i'm just saying are oh, they great they're great mm. they are genuinely really good sounds yeah. yeah and another thing that you can see is is that when you're playing you're just yeah. engrossed in it i go somewhere else <laughs> yeah well that's it and that's especially you know and yeah. it's you know you're not going to be carrying around a whirly to a session are you, you know <laughs> it's, it's true i mean I, like i said you can literally pick one and every sound just inspires you to play it i'm not I haven't rehearsed or planned anything. Yeah. I'm just like, whatever I feel is just going to come out. So yeah, it just goes to show in terms of creativity, this really does pull the best out of you. Yeah. I mean, we let's test that. Let's go yeah, for it. You know, you let's... can <laughs> pick, pick anyone you like and I'll play and you know. You know what? So I'm going to go for... I'm going to look at this. Okay, cool. I, can't, I don't know what this one actually is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, 
even then just like the aftertouch like that's so crucial when you're yeah. as you say when you're in that zone and you really want to get the dynamics of it and you're really kind of like you know pushing for that extra bit if you're a guitarist you yeah. kind of you know a bit more vibrato but there you know you're really digging in and you're really feeling it and to push it a bit further you can actually i'm in fabric excel that sound is from fabric excel so what i can actually do is i can go to the midi settings and assign aftertouch to whatever i want it to be and also um, change the depth of how much intensity it has. So at the moment it's cut off, so it's ever so slight. But um, yeah, the fact that you can even tweak and really have controllers to what the sounds do or what you want them to do, that's another thing. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. you've just got that accessibility of like, it's yeah. another level of kind of like musicality that you might not have. Yeah, yeah, this is it. I, and like I said, it, it really does pull the best out of you. And, you know, I just think it's really important for producers and for live musicians to be able to have a keyboard that you know you can rely on and also not feel like every day you turn it on you're just doing the same thing and so it's, it's yeah honestly for creatives it's really inspiring yeah definitely and as, as you say you know this is something that 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 creativity is there having yeah. this in a studio is something that should be a fundamental thing to have yeah because the versatility of sounds the expression as you say yeah everything is there to be controlled Definitely. Um, a sound that I'd really like to go over is the piano sound. Oh yeah, of course. Um, because a really lush, expansive piano sound mm -hmm. is hard to achieve. Yeah. And this has it in buckets. It does. It, honest, it honestly does. I think originally um, they had said that they wanted to really try and achieve like a piano, a plug-in. Mm. And I just think they've done that and gone beyond. And I mean, with the piano, I'm going to go to the actual instrument. So they've got different types of pianos. So mm -hmm. you can also tweak whether it's a real piano or, so I've got a real piano here, or a bright piano or a hard piano, dance piano. So, so you can just, you know, the, the editing is endless. Things like being able to close the lid, you know. Something that a lot of people wouldn't even consider. Exactly, attention to detail or affect the age. But yeah, I, I think in terms of pianos, Again, it gives you the control to do what you like and, you know, create your own sound as well. Yeah. Even though they're presets, 6,000 presets, <laughs> on top of that, they're all editable. It's yeah. Like endless, you can create endless sounds, so, yeah. Yeah, it can be here for hours. I mean, <laughs> I'd, I'd really like to get a big, expansive piano sound. Okay. So let's do that. All right, let's do that. When you say big, expansive, i I got to let the reverb drip a little bit. So That's I'm gonna, it. I'm going to turn it up here. <laughs> Just, I'm going to make it here. I mean, I got what I asked for. That was amazing. Do you want a receipt? Oh, I'll pay for that. Yeah, my gosh. That sounds amazing. And like, just that as a foundation sound without yeah. even touching on, you know, the possibility of adding the drums to that. Exactly. Com you know, excessive layers, pads, you know, yep. other loops in there. This, just this core sound alone. Yeah. It, it's like, I, was, I, you know, I'm grateful to Akai because they've kind of, they've given you a great keyboard, but they've also given you you know, options to expand and 
You know, you've got like eight CV gate jacks that allow you to integrate like analog and modular simps. And there's so many real time controls that are assignable and like the, the endless encoder knobs, the Q links. And the, the fact that I can just have so much control and not have to kind of go through loads of parameters and loads of screens. There's like a handful of screens and that's it. And you can do so much with those kind of screens. So it, it means that you don't have to worry about, you know, I have to go through this page and this page to get to this this parameter and you know it's just it's it's really creative and it's I could, you can tell when you play it that they've really thought about musicians and producers they've yeah. kind of kept us in mind and thought well what would they want yeah exactly yeah. and being able to transport you know in a 61 key format you're yeah. not limiting yourself you know and it's yeah. not something too big like an 88 or not a 49 you've got a nice kind of like amount of keys with it the option for the octave up and down yeah you know which was Demonstrated beautifully. Oh, thank must you. I say? <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try. <laughs> and you nail it. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah, I. Have, this is something that would be perfect for pretty much anyone that's yeah. wanting to go from a studio to a stage. Totally agree. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> totally agree. So yeah, I'm. I'm excited about it, and I'm. You know, excited to write some new music with it. Hopefully, a couple of hits or something. I, <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to hearing them very much. <laughs> But yeah, no, so this is the Akai Professional MPC Key 61 mm -hmm. uh, production synthesizer. And I've been Adam. This has been Mike. Thank you. If you <laughs> like the comment, if you like the video, like, subscribe, and comment below. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>